Hey love, so in this video I'm going to show you how I achieved this look with the two cornrows with my wig, so I hope you enjoy it. So the first things first, as you can see I have all my hair out and this is basically my wig. And the front perimeter right here is where my actual natural hair growth is at or my natural hair, which I left out so that way I can go ahead and cornrow the wig into my hair to give it a natural look. So you're going to need enough hair, you don't need a lot, but just enough so that the actual wig can catch on to it. I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair, just get any kind of snags or tangles, and I'm going to brush some of it towards the front as you can see. Now as for the parting, I've already have a curved part into my unit, so I'm just going to match that up with my natural hairline just to achieve a realistic look. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of the hair and separate it by three portions as you see here. The first portion is my natural hair and I'm braiding that into the wig. If you really don't know how to cornrow, it's basically easy. There are loads of tutorials on YouTube, but all I'm basically doing is connecting my hair with the wig and just so forth by grabbing each piece of hair that is onto my head and or onto my scalp and actually into my hair or into my unit. I'm going to go ahead and braid this hair all the way down after I finish attaching it to my natural hair and wig hair and I'm going to go ahead and use a small black rubber band just so that way it doesn't unravel. Now you can either wear the braid down like so, you can also pin it back with like a cute little bobby pin or hair pin, or you can also take it and tuck it behind and inside the back of the wig cap as you can see here so that way you don't see any braid at all it's underneath and it will actually stay like that now on to the next side as you can see I'm going to go ahead and I'm left I left that braid down but I'm going to go in and start braiding this portion so for this portion I want to take it and basically do it towards the top of my head so you see the little part right there it doesn't have to be perfect that one part will not show but you just want to part it so that way you can take the amount of hair needed. And I'm going to do the same method. I'm going to go ahead and take three sections and just start braiding it. I'm not going to be connecting it to anything right now but the actual wig hair until I get towards the hairline. And now is the portion where I'm going to go ahead and start connecting it to my actual natural hair in the front. I'm just going to keep taking that hair and I'm brushing some of the natural or not the natural but the wig hair towards the front so that way I can connect it and you just want to keep braiding until you get at least past your ear and that's where the connection should actually stop and I'm just going to go ahead and braid that down like I did the other side and of course I'm going to be using a small black rubber band just to keep it from unraveling and for this particular hairstyle you can either leave the braids down as you can see here you can also tuck them underneath in, 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 inside your wig or like you see here you can actually go ahead and pin it or you can use two small black rubber bands to connect the two braids together. So this is really a really easy, easy look. And to finish off this look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on one of my favorite necklaces from Happiness Boutique, which I'll place the link down below. As well as that, one of my dangling small pair of earrings from Happiness Boutique, which I absolutely love. So this look just sets it all off. I don't really need too much big, huge, gaudy jewelry, but it's up to your preference. But something delicate and dainty for the day just to set my hair look off. And this is the back area. And as you can see, I went ahead and attached those two braids. But just to give my hairline a little bit more depth, I'm going to use some of my favorite Topic Keratin hair filler fibers and fill in those missing spaces. It's not needed, but I just went ahead and did it anyway. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this look. You can pick up the Topic from Sally's or Target.com as well as the Jewelry's from Happiness Boutique.